Welcome back to Navy 90s Minute. Every week, we look back at a culturally relevant show, movie, or piece of pop culture that probably helps stoke the algorithm. This week, in honor of Season 4 of Star Trek Lower Decks premiering, we're looking back at one of the best Star Trek films of all time, Star Trek First Contact. Star Trek First Contact is a 1996 science fiction film directed by William T. Riker from Star Trek The Next Generation, starring the Star Trek The Next Generation cast like Professor Xavier, the director of this movie, the scientist that clearly died in Independence Day but is alive in Independence Day Resurgence, Reading Rainbow, as well as Mariah Stokes from Luke Cage as Picard's love interest because why give Beverly something to do, the farmer from Babe, the talking pig movie as Zephyrin Cochran, the founder of Warp Drive technology, and Damian Dark from the Arrowverse as Lieutenant Redshirt Hawk. Watch out for him on the deflector dish. The story starts in 2373 with the new USS Enterprise NCC-1701E, a sovereign class starship that replaced the Enterprise D, which they crashed on a planet in the last film, when the Borg attacked Earth. Since Picard has a history with the Borg, he was assimilated back in the Season 3 finale of TNG and rescued in the Season 4 premiere, the Admiralty has the Enterprise sit on the sidelines doing science research, but they get a bunch of distress calls, so they decide to hell with orders and then race back to Earth to defend it with the rest of the fleet. They rescue Worf from the USS Defiant, his ship he commands on the show Deep Space Nine occasionally, and Picard takes control of the the fleet, leading the Federation to a near victory, but a Borg sphere ejects from the Borg cube and travels back to the past to destroy Earth, but the Enterprise-E follows it back and stops it before they do too much damage. The Borg manage to destroy a part of the test site for the first warp vehicle back in 2063, so the crew disguise themselves and beam down to Earth to help them fix the vehicles so they can still make first contact with the Vulcans when the Vulcans happen to be doing a survey in the area the next day. One of the humans from the past gets beamed up to the ship because she's hurt or something, and half the main crew goes back to the ship while the other half stays to help Zephyr and Cochran get the Phoenix fixed and ready to fly. But he turns out to be a drunk looking to get rich, not the savior the history books describe him as. Back on the Enterprise, some Borg have beamed onto the lower decks of the ship and started taking over with the Borg Queen. The Borg capture Data, Picard meets Lily, the human beamed up earlier, and they then take on the Borg while trying to meet back up with the crew. Picard is forced to try and blow up the Enterprise again, but before they can do it, Data and the Borg Queen get Picard to meet them in engineering. Meanwhile, Cochran is doing his first warp test flight in the Phoenix with the help of Riker and LaForge. Back in main engineering, Data is revealed to be getting skin from the Borg Queen, but he betrays her and helps Picard kill her, saving the day. Finally, back on Earth, the crew celebrate the first warp flight and then see the Vulcans make first contact. And that's Star Trek First Contact in a namely 90s minute. More or less. Join us again next Tuesday for another namely 90s minute. Remember, you can always hear these a day early in full episodes of namely 90s on all major podcasting platforms, and most of the small ones too. Please subscribe and do all the other YouTube things. Bell ringing, share like a scribes, that sort of stuff, and we'll catch you next time.